Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's just kind of a video. I'm going to go over some of the things I'm going to do for the coil gun. Um, I got a couple of pictures here um, to show you guys. Uh, first off, I can't remember where I got this, but I'll post the link in the video description. Um, this is how I'm going to wind the coils, uh, the first test coil. I'll wind one like this and then one like I normally do, and I'll see um, what the efficiency differences are, um, if there is any. Um, see if there's any speed differences, stuff like that. Um, just just because of the fact that it, it does, it, it's kind of weird because it's it winds around the edge here, just so everything stays perfect, basically. So we'll see if that does anything. Um, it might, it might not. I really don't know. Uh, then this is the triggering uh, circuit. We have an LM393 comparator right here, and basically what happens is, is there's just a voltage here on the inverting end, and we have the input from the phototransistor on the non-inverting end here. So what happens is, is the voltage on the inverting end here basically sets the trigger uh, voltage on the phototransistor. So as the bullet comes through, we see the the path being blocked, which then will basically turn this off, allowing voltage to go into this part of the comparator, turning it on, sending a signal out. So that's kind of how that works. Um, and then uh, what I'll have to do is, is, since I'm not using a photo transistor, I'll have to add a couple of uh, um, transistors and stuff in there I think is how I'll do it to boost the signal up and get the voltage where I need it to be and whatnot to trigger that so pretty much uh, the next part here is the charger this is Uzer's 2K K's, uh, capacitor charger it's basically just a redesigned well, not even really redesigned it's just a ZVS driver with two diodes right here these are pull down diodes for the gates on the MOSFETs. And what happens is, is this regulator circuit right here, uh, it kind of works the same way as the, the triggering circuit. We have non inverting and inverting sides here, or inverting and non inverting sides here. I believe that's what it is. I always get mixed up with these. But uh, we have a set reference voltage of 2.5 volts on this end here. As soon as the capacitor bank charges up to a point it will get past that 2.5 volt reference and actually turn on the comparator and that is set with this potentiometer right there by the 1k potentiometer right there so and then that will turn on that transistor then pulling those gates to ground and then just what happens here is these transistors turn on stuff and turn on these LEDs there's a red and a green LED and one is just for charging, one is for ready, so, I mean, it's nothing too special, it works the same way. So, that's kind of what I've got right now, so I just figured I'd print those off and show you guys for anybody interested. I'll post all the links in the video description, so, what I'm going to do today is hopefully find a way to cut out these, uh, the circles from these sheets that I got, I got to couple of them right here yeah, from an older project. Got a couple of these. So should be able to find a way, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But uh who knows. So and then I'll also work on these here. And I'll probably make a video of me working on these just to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to these. So yeah. Uh that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh hope it helped anybody. So, anyways, till the next video later on today, peace out.